Hi YouTube, just a little short video on the Rip Rap MX and yet another calibration cube. Um, got the heated bed on. This is a 120mm heated bed off eBay, all over eBay. Um, measured about 3 ohms resistance. Takes a while to heat up. Um, comes with uh, all the wires the wrong colour out of the box, so I've got that redone and that's just uh, negative positive. Signal and ground, uh, signal and ground going to T1 on the ramps board, negative positive going to D10. I think it is the power for the rat for the heated bed. Um, scuffed up the caftan tape with some uh, P600 wet and dry, cleaned it off with some isoprop because I was getting lifting on the bottom right corner all the time, again and again and again. Yesterday was a tear your hair out day, today's been better with that, and then leveled, re leveled it all when the bed's hot um, and uh, the bed won't heat up without the extruder being hot and so backed all the filament out you know cleaned it all up re-leveled it all when it was hot and that seems to have helped um, put a lot of cork metal plate bigger springs wing nuts all helping to try and wick some of the heat away from the PLA hopefully I just tidied the cable onto the um, end stop there what was going to be the end stop that I'm not using to give it some strain relief um, so that appears to be a lot better so hopefully this will be 20mm cubed these were 20.3mm wide and long so I've just backed off the steps per millimeter in uh, Repetier uh, firmware a couple of issues first thing is the bed won't heat up without the uh, nozzle and I still am getting strange artifacts on the screen like half the text is missing doesn't affect printing but it's just not very good the ANET does that but you can just click back and it just it goes back to being normal this one doesn't so I don't like that it's nothing to do with a 5 volt regulator and also I have to turn on the um, <coughs> extruder before I can turn on the bed and the computer has to be connected which is very weird Ok so there's the new steps per millimetre, a bit happier with that, it was 20.3, hold on one second, need more hands for that, this is the width, 20, was 20.2, and that's the sort of finish you can expect from it, the height is right, it was right before, and no more lifting, so, happy with that. So I've just done another print, after the calibration with some more complicated shapes, pretty pleased with that it's going to be another one of them so yeah that's all looking good just, uh, just pushing it now just printing two bits at once and this is going to be a screwdriver with a changeable tip for the uh, trim pots on the stepper drivers I'm printing it pretty slow at 20 millimeters per second and at 0.1 millimeter resolution as a test there it is a viable tool It does work. That's all good. Okay, so now I thought I'd give it a real test. This is a bust of Yoda's head. So let's see where a Yoda head comes out. This has been printed at 20 millimeters a second because I don't want to take the absolute. And uh, 0.1 mil resolution. We're currently at 14%. I've had done a bit of trimming on the uh, stepper motors with my new. Talk it, yay! Well, fingers crossed. Yoda's looking pretty special. Okay, so I'm really chuffed with this. There's Yoda, looking good. 97%. I'll peel the stuff off him. And we'll see what he looks like when he comes out of the printer. Okay, so it's finished. There's Yoda. Pretty good. Peel off the stuff. Without further ado, here is Yoda. Uh, I don't think that's bad at all. Just I haven't really cleaned it up majorly. I've just taken the structures off it. I haven't gone over it with a knife or anything. Details not bad at all. Um, so yeah, quite pleased with that. The camera's not really focusing very well, but quite pleased with that. So that's a 3D printed 
3D printer running off of a 20 quid eBay ramps Arduino clone combo a little bit of tweaking that is what you can expect to get out of this kind of setup a little addendum here I had to know whether this stepper driver was working or not so I found the YouTube video which I'll link in the description he used an Arduino Nano but I've, uh, he used an Arduino Uno but I've just used a Nano and um, basically found an old 7805 regulator which is a 5 volt regulator so I've got a it's a kind of a remix of what he did I've got a 12 volt power supply coming into a 7805 regulator that regulator drops it to 5 volts powers the Arduino, these are all labelled 5 volts in and ground it also powers the logic on the uh, stepper driver which are these two pins at the bottom here uh, the motor is connected with the uh, just put some pins in the uh, board there and the, 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 you can get the pin out for the driver off the internet it's also underneath but have a look at his video um, <clears throat> so they've both got 5 volts for their logic and then pins 3 and 4 are direction and step the yellow and the orange wires going to direction and step on the uh, on the stepper driver board and then I've bridged sleep and reset um, then what I've done is I've <coughs> put a little fan on just to keep it cool off the 12 volts and the 12 volts is also bridged off of the regulator and it goes up to the two topmost right pins where that capacitor is to power the actual motor so it's got 12 volts to drive the actual motor and that cap is just to stop any kickback voltage from the motor hurting the board and then uh, just uh, put a bit of code on there which I copied off him which sends pulses for one full revolution forwards one full revolution backwards and ta-da it works so I messed around with this uh, my little new screwdriver on the uh, trim pot there and just got it down to the level where it just starts going I'm trying to do it with one hand so it's quite a good little screwdriver this I turn it down turn it down it don't work, got enough voltage turn it up and now it's got enough just uh, I didn't know this but basically if you put your positive multimeter voltage on there and your negative on ground whatever voltage you read if you double that that's what the amps that board's taken and it's only really rated for one amp continuous or up to two amps with really good cooling so if you're reading like 0.6 volts on that you're actually pushing 1.2 amps through that board and if you're not cooling it that probably won't do it a lot of good but I don't think they're that accurate anyway the pots but yeah if you need to test the motor or a stepper you can download a little bit of code in Arduino and a few bits and pieces and uh, that's how you do it I'll link his video in the description so cheers for the guy for doing that right.